Are you in love with football? And what about sports betting? Do you want to earn really big money from it? Experts of BetFact prepare dozens of solid and safe predictions with high odds every day, so you can win a lot and stably. Just sign up through the link in the description and punish your bookie. the depth in squad that puts them over the line. Yeah, it's an incredibly talented side, as everybody keeps mentioning. You've got your Mercurial star in, in Neymar. And the good thing about this Brazil team, as compared to other teams, namely Argentina, who themselves are good on paper and have Lionel Messi, is everybody is willing to pull their weights. This team lives up to expectation. It's lived up to the hype so far. Everybody stays fit, including Neymar, Questions coming into the tournament around his injury. He seems rested, back to full form. Everybody stays fit. I just feel this is, without question, the best team in the tournament. I know you take it at face value, don't you? What you see on the bench and everything that's going on. But there seems to be a real chemistry within right. this side. Hmm. Yeah, and, you know, when you, when you try and figure out, other than Brazil, who's going to win it, you go to Germany. And straight away, as soon as you say Germany, I think of that team unit. They're, they're a good, solid mm. team. They don't make mistakes. They take, they take advantage of situations they create. But then you look at Brazil. That, this you say it's coming this, Brazil, this mm. Brazil team is exactly all those things I've just said about Germany. Brazil are that. But you add the star quality, and that's, this, that's, that's why they separate themselves from your Germanys and from your Spains and your Argentinas. So what's the weakness? I really don't think they have a weakness. Wow. You know, I was trying to figure out um, if there was a weakness defensively that you could really pick on, but not really. I mean, I was trying to say that Thiago Silva maybe was, was a little struggling at times, but just from back middle to front, this, this is a, a team that should be favourites, who are favourites, and I will be shocked if they don't win the World Cup. Uh, let's take a look at the golden ball odds. Remember, this is the best player of the tournament. Neymar is favourite. Eight to one to me. Looks like a damn good bet, doesn't it? For a team that everyone seems to think are going a long way in this tournament. Yeah, it, it does. And as I just mentioned, coming to this into this tournament, seemingly rested now that he's over over his injury. Um, and then you chase and pack the likely suspects, Neil and Messi. A lot of questions are on Argentina and whether they go deep in the tournament. Again, as much as we think that Brazil will at the very least go deep, and Neymar being the leader sitting on the park, it's. It's a good bet. It's a very good bet at eight. Would you put your money on that, Stevie? Yeah, I think that's worth a punt. Yeah. I mean, with, with not just Neymar. If, if, if Messi's going to win it, you, you kind of think he's going to have to win it on his own. Whereas yeah. Neymar is not only going to be he's fantastic going to be on good. himself, yeah. but he's, going to have, he's got the surrounding cast. He's going to have to be good, though, Neymar, isn't he? Because he spent the season at PSG before he got injured, juggling the ball around, you know, taking the mickey out of other players in France, balancing boots in his head, mm. didn't really play great, and, and the, was it the first game at the Bernabeu yeah. uh, before he got injured? Yeah, could have got sent off. Could and probably should have got sent off. But you just feel when he turns up with this, you, you just feel he loves the fact now that he's the big I am in this Brazilian team, and, and he wants to put it right. He had the injury uh, down in Brazil when the World Cup was down there, when he got absolutely mullered in the back from the Colombian player. The Brazilians lost the plot with all the T-shirts, you know, pray for Neymar and all that before the Germany yeah. game, and then they lost. So uh, I think with this coach in charge now, it's a more functional side. It's a, it's a side that is, is more focused. None of the, the, the histrionics, not so much of a circus, and more concentrated. Do you think, the, the thing for me is, and I, I, I keep seeing it, and I'm sure I will keep seeing it, Brazil, uh, Neymar for Brazil is totally different from Neymar for PSG. And when we're talking about the golden ball and you're looking at individuals, and between us here we have Brazil and Germany as the two teams to at the very least meet the final. And Germany has never been a team about individuals. Germany are always there, thereabouts, because they're greater than the sum of their parts. So when you're talking about individuals, Neymar, without question, is, is, is a standout player coming into this tournament. By the way, why have you, got your I, why have you still got your glasses on? Uh, Do you know what? I, 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 get impression, though, I get the impression, though, that, that as, as many great players as Brazil have in the team, including Neymar, they seem to have a, a respect 
for themselves and their country and the team. You know, Neymar goes and, goes and, um, and plays in Ligue 1 and, and takes the mickey out of his opponents mm. and, and just tries to be flashy. You don't see that with this Brazil side from anybody, not just Neymar, but the lot. They seem to have a, a respect for. The المنتخب البرازيلي مرانه الأخيرة استعدادا لمواجهة منتخب سويسرا في افتتاح مشاركة المنتخبين في كأس العالم البرازيلي المتواجدة في المجموعة الخامسة تسعى لعادة هيبتها في المنافسات العالمية وقد أظهر منتخب سامبا دلائل كثيرة تؤكد قدرته على استعادة الهيمنة والصدارة العالمية مجددا وأكد الإطار الفني أن نجم نيمار ليس جاهزا بنسبة مئة بالمئة. لهذه المباراة وتأمل البرازيل استعادة مستواها المبهر بعد أن كانت أول منتخب يضمن التأهل للنهائيات لم يتعافى بشكل كلي لكنه في تحسن ملحوظ فيما أكد مارسيلو أن صدمة الهزيمة أمام ألمانيا أصبحت من الماضي مشيرا إلى ضرورة التعامل بالشكل الأمثل مع المباريات المقبلة وأولها ضد سويسرا نيمار ليس جاهزا بنسبة مئة بالمئة لكنه محظوظ أعني على المستوى البدني سرعته هائلة إنه يتعافى بشكل جيد من أثار الإصابة لكنه لم يجهز بنسبة كاملة أمل أن يكون في مستوى جيد إنه في وضعية أفضل بكثير تسمح له باللعب بشكل رائع الهزائم متوقعة في كرة القدم لا أشعر بالصدمة وإن كنت كذلك يجب علي أن أعتزل كرة القدم نهائيا يجب أن نكون هادئين في حياتي أسعى دائما للنظر إلى الجانب الإيجابي أبحث في كل الأوقات عن أهداف جديدة وتحديات جديدة كأس العالم هو بمثابة تحد من هذه التحديات ومواجهة سويسرا هي تحد جديد في الجهة المقابلة يسعى المنتخب السويسري إلى الظهور ندا قويا أمام نظره البرازيلي ويسعى بناء المدرب فلاديمير بيتكوفيتش لرفع راية تحدي في مستهل مشوارهم في البطولة والظهور بوجه المشرفين أمام منتخب قوي ومدجج بالنجوم ويرشحه الكثيرون للذهاب بعيدا في المونديال الروسي